Morning, guys. Morning. So where are we? Hiya. Where are we? What's up, A W E? <laughs> where are we? We are in. You know where we are. Where are we? I don't know. We're in the mountains. <laughs> we are in. No, nah, good morning, explorers. <laughs> We're in anus right now. <laughs> We're in anus. <laughs> hey guys, we are at Voza. <laughs> so look at the mountains. So you think this little town that we're about to walk in, 308 died, 1,500 plus injured, and 65,000 plus homeless. In something that probably lasted no longer than five minutes, destroyed so many houses. So if you haven't seen it as well, we explored a hospital in the same area. Um, really shocked of what was left behind in the morgue in the hospital. Um, I believe it was finger bones, there's some skin, just stuff like that. You can see one of the old streets there, we're going to head down, we're going to head in. Oh, what's happening explorers, so today we have arrived at Vosa, this ancient city that certain parts date back to the 13th, 13th century. Now, according to history, this place has suffered earthquakes every sort of 100 years. There's been over 30,000 deaths. In the existence of this place, there's been over 30,000 deaths. Now, they're actually building up certain parts again, so they're actually looking after this place. But this now, the majority of what we're going to explore today has been abandoned since 2009, April around about 3.25 a.m. a massive earthquake struck between 5.8 and 5.9 I believe on the Ricker scale. Now this claimed over 300 deaths. This was 1,500 people injured and over 65,000 people completely homeless. Now as you see behind me now, we're going to explore this ghost town. We're going to try and adventure into some of the lives because these people that did certain people that came back to their homes just took the essentials so the rest of the place are completely how it was back in 2009 so i'm joined today by steve ronin and radic there he is there we're showing it on them in a minute anyway but yeah um we'll talk about some more of the history as we go around this place but yeah let's get on with the video love you loads and i uh, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports awe just by watching my content but if you are new to the channel please hit that like and subscribe so guys don't forget to check out all the social medias uh facebook instagram you know it we're on it but yeah love you all guys stay safe let's get on with the video <laughs> So Steve and I are now taking one of the original roads into the old city, into the old town. See what I see? Yeah, go through a tiny hole. You ain't got to do that for camera. It's going to break my ankle. Now to be fair, that's what I said, these whole staircase walkways completely covered. 
There's buildings here you can see have suffered serious. Well, Steve, I was trying to say, imagine you and, uh, you and your partner and your family and your kids and 3.30 you just get woke up and the whole ground is shaking. I mean, what a... Terrifying. I mean, look at some of this. I mean, so climbing down one of the old footpaths um, that would have took you to door number nine there. And uh, that's house number 13. And you think these these houses here are completely forgotten. I'm just wondering what's down here. Yo, yeah, it's all zero. And you think I mean the chances are very high. Uh sorry. The chances of an earthquake. And the thing is, you think, I know it's, it's a very high chance, uh, it's quite a low chance at the moment. That oh. an earthquake could literally strike again right now. So at the moment I'm standing in one of the homes of, um, and this one suffered a serious amount of damage. You can see the ceiling there has came in. There's bits of furniture and stuff. There's bedroom side bits there, obviously from upstairs that have come through. Oh, it's crazy. You can see here part of the town. Taking the old steps. There's another huge villa here. There's some dishes in the sink. I'm not just saying this as well, but you imagine growing up here. This is your life. Everything you owned is here. Next minute you've got to evacuate, leave, and you come back for a few essentials. Look, guys. It's a real old push bike. Oh, how beautiful is this pram, guys? That's incredible. Still bits sat on the fireplace. <sighs> Look at this ceiling. It's absolutely incredible. Loving all that, the gold leaf around the edge. Stripped bed sheets, took clothes. So picture this: I'm in one of the apartments now, laying in this bed, fast asleep, 3:30 a.m. Well, gone 3:30 a.m. On April the 9th. On 3.30 a.m. April the 9th, laying in bed, and the whole ground shakes, probably the loud cracks and buildings collapsing noise, as if he was probably at war or attack, you know, I'm not even joking, but it must have been terrifying. See, they've probably put this in a few years back, just to try and stay with this building, but even the structure they've put up now is rotting away. I imagine there are quite a lot of elderly as well that are here. This is number two. Literally kitchen still. 
so that's completely still. And there's the time stopped up there in bows, four to ten. Look at it all. Shot there's still quite a lot of blinds left. See the cracks up in the walls. Okay, it's locked up. Listen to the silence, guys. It's weird, there's not even a bird in the sky. I can see. It's like nothing's living here anymore, but there is life still here, believe it or not. As I said, the parts of the town over there, they're reconstructing. Yes, and that's like a monument for probably all the lives that were lost here. It looks fairly new. The old roads. These ghost towns. The monument for all the lives that were lost. You can see there's some at the back there, someone's put some fresh flowers in again. Huge villa, size of staircase. I think you're going to see the view, Steve, right over the back. You think the old clock tower doesn't chime anymore? I mean, this place still seems pretty sturdy. But it's like, I've just probably moved out, didn't want to come back. I'm literally under the ground, under the basement. See the old drying rack still. There's parts of furniture still. There's a little sign here. It's just basically talking about how they constructed this. 140,000 euros. Um, basically to stop the falling rocks. So they are going to put this town back on the map. When? Fully? I don't know. Look at you, Steve. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> that sound was actually guys, I'm doing the same wrong. I haven't got a gimbal. I need to get these likes up, guys. Share, like, and subscribe, my loves. <laughs> I want this. If you want a stable video, guys, you know what to do. <laughs> I'm filming hands-free now. Oh, you're filming? I'm filming hands-free, bro. This is how I film now when I explore a band places. I think we're walking on like a burial ground. You know, 300 and 306 was it or 309 people was it? All lost their lives here. This looks quite a modern one. Maybe probably all that, even children's toys left. This must have been someone who's quite important because there's a It's like a military hat there, you know. Maybe an Italian guard or something. And the heating system's actually falling off the wall. No personal things left behind. Kids colouring pencils. DVDs, CDs. I 
how do you explain to children that you know we can't come back you know we've got to leave our home behind new views in the morning This is so sad. Just got that feeling as well. They've come back, they've rushed to get a few things. Probably scared it's going to happen straight again. Little cat. Is that cat now? 2009. This is April as well. This is the last month. This is the month it happened. Tea towel hanging up, medication still in the cupboards. Look how dated these are. Can you imagine being stuck in, right in here as well, squished in between two houses. This is your home. You see all the ground's literally unevened as well now. So, just as you would come through the front door there. There's a jacket still hanging, look at these walls. You can see they've run bars all the way through this place, up the top of the stairs and everything, keeping this building structurally together. All the beams up here. So it gives the Italian government credit, they are trying to save this place. frames literally are barely holding on. The little mailbox number eight. The family bedroom. A little suitcase I didn't get time to pack. These beams holding this place together. So at the top apartment here. I'm just trying to get out of here so quick. This looks maybe like an elderly person's home. Still dishes sitting in the drying racks. And again now, uh, they probably had a time limit to come back and grab some stuff. Still unpacked suitcases. Love these old drying racks. You think the electricity doesn't even look safe, does it? A bit of string hanging there. So much belongings left. Imagine getting to an age in your life where your, your mortgage is paid, you're finished, you don't own nothing no more, and then next minute you've got to evacuate your house, leaving everything, starting again.
wow, look at that old TV. I actually did think this is probably an elderly person's house. But then actually there ain't no upstairs, so... You start walking around this place, you don't realise the mass amount of damage this did. You know, from a little community that, as I said, everyone probably knew each other. And losing 306 people. You can see the old church, the clock tower up there. Look at the view here. Just imagine the fan. This church looks absolutely beautiful. You just see its clock face up there. It's actually hard to see from standing, probably looking for a lens, but the wall there that's holding, it's actually like done that. there. Hey, this actually looks like maybe the old bakery store or something. It's got the glass cabinet you look through. So you think the street so ancient. It's a, I'm sure it's 1400s I read. It could be wrong. Huh. I think this is the highlight of the trip, boys. Definitely. I'm actually in love. This place is huge. Guys, I'm not finishing yet, but if you want a part two, I'm actually return and try and do all the bits that I haven't done. This place is literally about to collapse. toys are still sat on the side. The giant Mickey Mouse. Oh. Stockings hanging up. It's a little girl's room. Got all of her little books. And I'm saying it's a little girl's room. Just because I've seen all the little Barbie magazines here. Oh, I love it. In 1999. This is our story. Story. It's all our school books. It looks like they've come back. I've just took her clothes out of the wardrobe. And that's it. And look at all the rubble. It's like the master bedroom, they could have got killed. They might, I mean, this could be a house that we're in where the family got killed. The bed's smothered in rubble. rubble. It's really choked me up a little bit, that little room. Oh, 
I've got a little girl of my own and I'm hoping this family got out. All of her parents' clothes are still here. That's what makes me think maybe did her parents survive? April 2009. Still, the personal work diary there as well. This. Kids toys, super soakers, piano. And these massive steel girders they've put through to keep this place structurally sound. So obviously the builders have put all the furniture in the middle. The most dangerous explorers I've ever done. I feel like the ceiling could come down any time. This building is incredible. You can imagine, as I said, the shock of this place. Loving the ceiling, look at that pattern on there. This is just one, as again, of many homes. I'm not sure what that symbol is there. Six. So I feel like everything's pretty much left behind in this one. Little chip fryer, washing machine. Downstairs bathroom looks completely untouched. This villa looks pristine. Little kiddies bung bag there. Oh wow. See how structurally dangerous this one is at the cracks through there. I'm in shock, guys. This building's about to fall. Oh, it's cracked it everywhere. Just walk down one of the cobbly paths. school book here just left on the side let's put it out of the rain you never know family may return one day I can feel the streets getting narrower as we head round and round some of the corridors, uh, there's some of the walkways now. It's so overgrown. This one. Oh, wow, guys. It's absolutely incredible. Oh. 
Oh wow, look at the old radio guys. This kitchen is incredible. It's a beautiful brick fireplace. All the dishes, as I said, still sat in the dish rack. Anything I'm not going to be able to get to in this place is the staircase. And to be fair, I don't really want it. The whole lot's come down. bedroom. Oh, look at this. The dust. Scene is literally beautiful, untouched. So, do you think that all the local people around here would have stopped their news up here? What's going on? Probably the town hall, the, the church times. What's happening in this little town? This is standing in another room. The ceiling literally is about to. Fall down. You can see there is all the family photos and stuff still hanging on the picture rail. No. So heading into the church. The government have really spent out on this. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Oh my. I'm literally speechless, guys. I didn't want to say it. See the earthquake shook and all the lights are just falling down and bent up. Look at this ceiling. Oh my. Oh. That is incredible. I should wonder if there's any uh, bones down there. Look at this. This is the best explorer of the whole trip, 100%. No longer up there anymore. I could literally spend hours just in this room. I'm loving that they've actually rescued. It's well, it's actually fallen by the looks of it because it's damaged the floor. Or oh, actually, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's damaged or not, or they've taken it down. But obviously, it would have lived central up there. They put a scaffolding around it now to keep it um, in one piece. You can feel the weight of just the one piece of glass there. It's a shame that these have just fallen and damaged. There's a little box on the wall there. It's 
shoot. <laughs> you had my heart go then. <laughs> I thought Steve was falling down the hole, guys. We literally all been winding each other up this trip. It's just a little confession bit, so obviously you'd have the uh, main man in there. Or the lady. I'm guessing you'd just go up and sit here and confess. Look at that up there, it's so beautiful, honestly. See the bricks of things have come straight down. I'm guessing these could be out of some of them bits that look like this picture's missing. Look at that. You can't see the beauty of it at the moment, but I'm just so glad that you know, they've chucked some money at this and Trying to keep it standing still, standing up, should I say. And you can imagine this place when all the scaffolding was here, just after the earthquake. The pain for the family to walk around the, the grounds of their old homes and the, the city they lived in, the town. Standing back outside the church. Do you think there's one of the other bells just sitting outside that window there? I don't know if you can see that, but oh, it's amazing. And a little arch way that runs underneath the church. So many houses, guys. Let me know if you want to see part two of this, and we'll eventually a lot more into a, a lot more homes. You know, there's so much to see here, but I reckon I should come back as a part two, 100%. All right, so, so just come to this other apartment. All the cigars left. fruit, juice and stuff in the fridge. This kitchen is very clean. It's got that just evacuate look. They'll rake out all what they can. They're probably terrified to come back in their home. We want to go up these stairs. You see, there's nothing up there. Wash bags. The hairdryer. The towel is still hanging up. This family didn't think they were going to sleep that night, and knowing they're going to have to never come back to their homes. You see, they've got massive rods for here as well to keep this place standing. Screams in it. There's still some food left on the sides for sale. So normally 
do one house explore. In this video we're exploring loads of houses. So there would have been a little baby living in this one. In 2007 did these boys and this family realise no one knew. Two years after this, this photo was taken. Two years after, they were evacuating and leaving everything behind. And that's what they literally did. I wonder if any of the families have returned since. Probably too painful for them. It's just been literally, it looks like it's been ransacked. The truth knows, as I said, I like that. It's even baby scam pictures. So this is probably would have been the main area, but I've had little, as I said earlier, like market stalls. Um, as you've seen, this is a very, it was a very popular ancient city. Well, it still is very popular. Oh, look at the play swing and stuff. A little merry go around. Oh, sea solid. And swing. So guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for. Uh, checking out the new video um, as I said if you love the video there will be a part two of this so let's get them likes up guys 5,000 likes I promise you I'll fly it back out here and I'll film the rest of the city there is so much more to see so many places that I want to carry on exploring here so um, yeah we're gonna make tracks today we're gonna let we're gonna head off but yeah thank you so so much guys and girls um, if you think your loved ones I want to watch the video please share my content with all your family and uh, yeah, the bigger I get, guys and girls, the more I can explore. Anyway, it's out from me. Love to every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And um, I wish you all the best. So I just want to say, love you all. Stay safe. And I'll be seeing you on the next adventure. Cannot wait.